wire fraud. Five tips to protect your Swiss bank account from wire fraud. Each week I have phone calls from wire fraud victims. Email fraud, wire fraud, identity theft are becoming more and more common in the area of internet banking. This video shows few simple things you can do to be protected against wire fraud, to avoid wire fraud. Hi, here is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com from Zurich Paradeplatz. I have many victims of wire fraud these days. Many people use online banking. If you use online banking facilities, you can be sure that your bank has very strong agreements with you in place. Check your agreements with the bank. You will see. You are responsible for all the risks. All liabilities are on your side. Last week, I had a wire fraud victim on the phone. He lost all his entire retirement money. He is 59 years old and he lost his pension money stolen with fabricated and fraudulent payment instructions. That's a final disaster for him. It will be hard work to recover his money. My client has to be happy if he can recover a substantial part of it. Due to the bank-friendly online banking agreements, it can be difficult to prove negligence to the bank. We have to prove negligence if you want the money back. On the side of the bank, 100% recovery is an exception. Much better is to prevent and fight wire fraud using small precautions. If you have a Swiss bank account with your dedicated Swiss banker, it is very easy to make wire fraud impossible. You have just to instruct your dedicated account manager, your Swiss banker, that all, instructions, that all transactions above, for example, $10,000 are subject to a written approval submitted by fax in combination with a personal phone call with you confirming the transaction. Two things. You should agree on both fax and personal phone call combined. Instruct your banker that the confirmation will take place always with the same telephone number. Agree which number you communicate with your banker. I will be, it will be very difficult for a criminal to falsify your voice and misuse your telephone number previously agreed. The instruction of your banker has to take place physically in the banking building, in the bank, with a face-to-face -face meeting. Do not send such instructions by email or fax. Otherwise, the fraudster can submit to the bank his own instruction. A well-placed banker within the bank or a so-called frontline teller has access to your confidential information and, and can steal your identity. Therefore, it is important to deal with a senior banker. I introduce my clients exclusively to senior bankers I trust, to bankers I trust, to bankers I work with since many years. If you want to spend some small additional money and invest in your security, you can ask for a numbered account. Yes, a numbered account. You know, numbered accounts were previously used for tax evasion in the good old times of Swiss banking. Today, you can use Swiss numbered accounts to limit the access to sensitive information to few people. Using a numbered account, you exclude the access to frontline tellers, for example. The access to numbered account information is limited to few senior bankers and senior managers of the bank. A very important tip is to deposit a different signature on your signature card. You know you have the signature card, you make your signature. Make a completely different signature on the signature card. 
If you do payment, you have to use these specific signatures. Make it a completely different signature. Use this specific signature only for payment instructions. Let me give you an example. Instead to sign with your normal signature, you should use a specific signature reserved for payments only. Use a signature reflecting your full name, including your additional names or your middle initial you normally never use. Invent a specific signature with your other additional names you never use normally. Let me give you an example. Instead of using your normal name, Francis Drake, for example, you will use Francis William Harry Drake, for example, for payments. So only for payments you use all these four names. In the normal uh, communication, you use only your, your Francis Drake. And for payments, you use four names. A very important tip is to use a new account with small money for your payments and a second account with big money for your savings. So don't do payments, small payments with your big money, with the account with big money. Use a specific account with small money just to execute the payments. So segregate your uh, money. If you are the victim of email fraud, identity theft or wire fraud, Pick up the phone now and dial 0041442124404 and speak with me how to recover your money. I will analyze your case with you. We will have to determine the bank's negligence. We can file a criminal action in case of internal irregularities within the bank. We will use the outcome of such a criminal investigation to reach a settlement with your bank. You know, there are different strategies. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.